Well, a disappointing result for the Blues tonight. A 69-point thrashing at the hands of the West Coast Eagles. John Doritich was such a promising start for the Blues. Six individual goal scorers in the opening term. Chris Judd on absolute fire. But from quarter time, it all went downhill from there. What was your reaction up until quarter time about the Carlton unit? Oh, well, I think, Shane, you had to be very impressed with what they did. The critical thing when you come over to Domain Stadium and you're away from home is to get the scoreboard early. They did that. The pressure, David Parkin and I spoke up on the radio. It was just such a frenetic pace early in the game. And then after quarter time, it just seemed to all dissipate. They went nearly two quarters without kicking a goal. And in the end, West Coast have kicked 16 goals to our three after quarter time, which is just, you know, obliterated we were. That run seemed to totally dry up after quarter time which really restricted the ball even getting into the forward line well it did and they did they look it was interesting like our ball movers sam doherty and chris yaron at half back were brilliant patty mcginnity tried to uh, tag chris yaron early in the game and didn't do that job well cripsy went to yaron after half time matt rosa went to chris judd after quarter time and they certainly stymied those two particular effect on the game we just didn't get enough of the ball our pressure and josh kennedy's kicked six goals in that third quarter that just broke us down difficult for michael jamison down there but the reality is if there's no pressure from the midfield it becomes almost impossible to and, defend and it just seemed as though at times the eagles were getting the ball uh, forward too easily at the end of the day. Want to touch on Andreas Everett. I thought he was certainly one of the better performers yep. uh, for Carlton tonight, as was Chris Judd, and particularly in that first half, he seemed like the Chris Judd of old and uh, didn't seem to have aged at all. No, well, you, what you love about Juddy is he had those 12 possessions shown in the first quarter, but he's just competitiveness. Like, when the ball's in his area, he wants to be involved and he wants to get his hands mm. on the footy and do something productive, and unfortunately tonight we needed more of him uh, to do that whilst the ball ball was in their area but uh, you know I thought Zach Tui battled manfully down the back the ball was in there enough of the time but you're right Andres Everett that goal his kick was brilliant so uh, there's some good signs Levi Casbold at the end finally got to the footy and clunked a few marks which was good and just very quickly just on the on the forwards because some of the marks were coming through but that inaccuracy just seemed to plague the forwards again we saw Levi Casbold missing directly in front uh, Liam Jones had a couple of misses as well just those things that really need to be tightened up oh they do and they kill you if you can't kick goals, those big three tools, and it's not only the Carlton tools, it's any tall forward. If you get the work and you do the hard yards but you can't convert, Shane, it's absolutely killing the rest of the midfield and the side. It's a big game always, but it's even bigger next week as we take on the Bombers.